Hey YouTube, it's Louie Pate with Cruiser Lou Outdoors. I know I ain't been around in a while, but I've been kind of busy trying to fish and doing some other things. But I had something happen a couple weeks ago that uh, gave me a new perspective on fishing out of a kayak. I flipped my kayak in very heavy current on the upper James River. Uh, it was my fault. I went to set my anchor the wrong way and I flipped the boat over. And if my buddy had not been there, I wouldn't be here today. But one of the reasons that that happened was because that Ascend 12T that I had hooked to the left really bad. No matter which side you paddled on, if you stopped paddling on the left-hand side, when it started to slow down, it would hook to the left. In wind, it would move to the left. Never really figured out why. The only thing I can figure... My scuffer holes were misaligned in the back of the boat. I think that had something to do with it. But anyway, I had it 11 months. I took it back to Bass Pro Shop, told them about it. They said, pick you out a new kayak. So I did. And that's what this video is about. Um, here, we have the Ascend 128. Yak Power Edition. Now, this thing is a big boat. Um, it's kind of hard for me to film with this camera or this phone. I'll give you a little walk around on it real quick. I've just started outfitting it the way I want it. Um, so far, really, all I've done is uh, well, I mounted my my fish finder put the little LED light on it, mounted my rod holders and a paddle holder, and every, everything else is pretty much stock as it comes from Bass Pro Shop. Uh, but if you're not familiar with this, I wanted to go over this kayak a little bit with you and, and tell you some of the features it has. Start up here at the front. Uh, as you can see, there's a huge area right here. You can store a cooler or camping gear or whatever you want. This thing is for storing your rods when you're traveling, like when you're trailering the boat. Um, I'm going to do away with that and put another hatch just like that right here this way to give me access to the inside here. And then you have this hatch here, which as you can see, that's pretty doggone deep in there. There's a lot of room in there. And there's plenty of room in here. This boat is designed to be stood up in, which is what I wanted, and it came from a send with a stand-up assist strap, and I hope I get to use it for that very thing. Uh, moving back, uh, you might recognize this from my other boat. That's the uh, rod holder I made. Um, and it, It's doubling as a trolling motor mount. I don't have a trolling motor on here yet, or right now. It's just a simple matter of clipping it on. And the crate back here, but let me move a couple things so I can get this crate out. And it's just sitting here. I haven't decided how I'm going to... Uh, mount it in the boat when I'm using it but there's another hatch there and this one is a big guy now I've turned it around the locks were on this side but I turned it around so I can access it from my seat when I'm in the kayak and when I open this up There's gobs of room in this thing. I mean, just storage, unbelievable storage. And then we have back here, again, as you can see, another big area that will, you know, hold a pretty good sized cooler. And then there's this hatch. <clears throat> Hang on, let me pop it open. this hatch here that cams in place and there's even more storage I mean this this thing is just riddled with storage which is really cool um, and I, I can tell you right now new folks who get one of these if they're anything like me they're gonna go oh man I can put all this gear in there well yeah you can but you'll pay for it if you do because it just weights you down you're gonna have to learn just like I did you know what you can get away with carrying and what you need to carry and what you don't need but um Again, you can see how wide the boat is. It's 30, 34 inches wide. Um, 
and you can see how deep it is so you know it, it gets you up out of the water pretty good and uh you know it's, it's got some some strange features on it for instance these pole holders up here why would anybody i mean that makes no sense to me whatsoever to put a pole in it you can't access it from the seat um, I may turn them around. I may do away with. I don't. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I mean, nice big boat. I haven't had it on the water yet. I've still got some things that I need to do. Um, I have to put my anchor trolleys on it. Uh, let's see what else. Anchor trolleys and some other things. But anyway, getting back to this yak power, as you can see got my LEDs lit up real nice to help me see at night in my fish finder and over here is the switch panel for those LEDs and you have a main power auxiliary one auxiliary two bow midship and stern which means I have a two-prong power port here I have another here then I have another in the back and all of that's being run off my trolling motor battery all, all three of those ports plus the two auxiliaries and my fish finder is plugged into auxiliary number one and right now I just have the midship on for my light if I had my trolling motor on here I would have my stern on back there but what I'm probably going to do is get another one of these units and install it and tie it in um, because I'm going to be wanting to run uh, a stern light along with my trolling motor um, I'm going to be wanting to run some lights on the outside of the boat, not navigation lights, but lights on the outside of the boat for, uh, you know, attracting bait fish. And, uh, you know, just anything else I might want to, I'm probably going to put a little, uh, charging port in here too for my, uh, like with a two USB and a, and a single, uh, cigarette lighter adapter. So I can charge pretty much anything I want when I'm on the water. But there's enough room in there for a really big battery if I choose to get one. And, uh. I'm, I'm happy with the boat and the, the cool thing about it is all I did was pay the difference between the price of a new 12T which was $649 and this which was $849 and because it's a Yak Power it's $50 more than the standard boat but I'm telling you the Yak Power is worth $50 bucks if you're looking at this boat. Um, I don't know what it retails at but I guarantee it's at least three times that. So. Uh, and it makes life so much either easier it's plug and play and you're ready to fish and one other thing the seat it's a three position seat if you can see it's in the highest position now then there's a middle and a low i'll leave it where it's at but here's the cool thing there's a lever under here pull that lever down and this seat swivels 360. so now ascend recommends that you always leave it locked in the forward position when you're on the water but you and I know that everybody's turning these things sideways and hanging their feet over the boat when they're fishing so anyway that's my new Ascend 128 key yak power edition um, I hope to get it in the water this week my trucks broke down so I have no way to get it anywhere um, if not I'm gonna bum a ride off somebody and tow it to the lake down here just to get it in the water but anyway that's it this is Louie Pate with Cruiser Lou Outdoors and remember, always be safe and have fun and catch fish, but be safe. All right, guys, tight lines. Later on.